Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the My Makeup Uniform Tag created by T from the Nappy Headed Jojoba. And actually, this is a collab video with T herself and Kelsey Brianna J or Bay, as we like to call her. T came to us with this idea and it's based on your signature look, things that you just go and gravitate towards, kind of like as she put it, hold on, I wanna put it exactly how she said it because uh, she worded it perfectly. She compares it to fragrance, which I really like. She says, you know how you have a favorite signature perfume or a fragrance that makes you feel great? This is your signature makeup look, your makeup uniform. That's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today is like my signature look. Something that when I sit down, I don't wanna think about it and I just wanna do something that looks good no matter what and this is it. And you guys have seen this look several times in videos and you guys always ask me to film it. So I was really glad when she came up with this idea for a collaboration and the tag because it's kind of forcing me to do something on camera that I never do, which is this shadow winged liner. It's just difficult for me to do, but I did it. I don't know how well, you know, I accomplished it, but I did do it on camera. I did all of this. So if you would like to see how I created this look, just keep watching. And don't forget, I am going to be linking T's and Kelsey's channels, both of them down in the description box. So make sure you click there as well. All right, let's get started. Brows are done. I haven't changed anything on like how I do them other than they might not be as big, as big. <laughs> but there is a link to how I do my brows in the description box way down at the bottom if you're curious. And then I went ahead and primed my eyes with the by Mario Master Eye Prep and Set in the Shade Light. I went in with both of these shades on my eyes, underneath my brows, and then I actually set my entire eye this time with this powder. And I did that because I'm not gonna be going in with a bunch of shadows. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of bronzer, a wing. I'm gonna attempt to do this wing on camera. We'll see what happens. But it's my go-to type of look these days. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. All right, let's go on to color corrector. Charlotte Tilbury, medium two, and the Rare Beauty Concealer brush. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that and I am going to apply it to the inner corners of my eyes. And then a little bit right over where I have some sun damage. And also the top of my lip because my mustache just is always trying to peek through. <laughs> it doesn't even matter if there's any hairs there. It's like five o'clock shadow. For foundation, Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue. I uh, I need another bottle. I <laughs> have been kind of waiting and <laughs> not using it as often on camera because uh, yeah, I am, I'm waiting for the Sephora sale so I can pick up some more because <laughs> uh, I'm about to run. I don't even know how many bottles of this I've gone through, but this is the shade 2N1 and I added one pump of this. This is the shade three and one. This is too dark. This one's a little too light and this just deepens up just a little bit. Linda Hallberg sponge. I am going to have to push my sleeves up. Otherwise, we're going to make up all over them. I like to take the excess from my sponge and just lightly go over my stars just so that everything is seamless and I'm not like missing makeup right here. Then I'll take my finger and just pick up a little bit more off of them. It's funny, I've gotten some comments recently. <laughs> I don't know where these are, it's like they're coming out of the woodwork. I'm getting several comments about, please don't tattoo your face. I'm like, too late. <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden, they're coming in, but they are. I was like, I'm sorry, I already have, and uh, I don't regret it. But a lot of times people don't see it because I definitely go over that area just a little bit with bronzer and 
highlight. Concealer, no thought behind this. It's my favorite Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. Now, I actually wanted to test out a method of applying concealer that Lisa J just posted on her channel. But I'm like, this is my go-to, like what I do. So I don't, I feel like I can't do it right now, but I really want to test it out. If you're curious, check out her video. I don't want to ruin it and tell you what the little trick is, but I want to test it out. I think I'm going to test it out tomorrow. But I really did. I was watching it right before doing this video. I was like, oh, I want to do that. I was like, no, you can't today. <laughs> I love Lisa J. If you guys have not seen her, you should check her out. Spread the love. Wayne Goss Artist Small Brush and my Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder. The perfect brush to really get right in there. Speaking of Lisa J, my BK Beauty 102 and my Sisley 01 Iris Say. And I am going to set my face, the rest of my face, with this powder. <laughs> Still can't get over the bouncy chair. <laughs> uh, I will stop talking about it eventually. Royal and Lang Nickel, BOM 36, and my <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury. Ah, this hole just keeps getting bigger and bigger. This is the Airbrush Bronzer in shade number two. I'm going to warm up this face. My face is a whole lot lighter than my body, so I rely on bronzer to really <laughs> help match my face to my body instead of going straight for a darker foundation. It's just my preferred method. And I will even take the bronzer on my neck and stuff, which today I don't really have to <laughs> because of my turtleneck. But yeah, I rely on bronzer quite a bit. And some days I'm a little extra bronzy. Some days I wear a little less. I don't even know where I'm going today as far as the bronze look, but We'll see. <laughs> sometimes I go a little more ham than I mean to, and sometimes I feel like I can't see it at all. One thing that never goes wrong though is this bronzer color. And I talked about that in my Feeling Flawless video. It's like this bronzer looks good with every foundation, with every look, whether it's a warm tone look or a cool tone look, and it just blends out like a dream, an absolute dream. And you guys might be wondering, why are you tugging at your ears and everything? It's because if I don't really get my bronzer <laughs> right around this area, then because I have short hair, you really can see a line. So I try to blend, 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 and then when in doubt, blend some more. Before I finish my nose and my eyes, I am going to apply a lip balm. This is the Balm Frost from Tom Ford. You guys already know how much I love this. I cannot stand for my lips to ever feel dry. It just irks my nerves. Now I'm going to go back in with the bronzer Tom Ford number 11 and we're going to add this to the nose. Up in this Whatever this area is called, <laughs> like the bridge and the eye where it meets, I don't know. Just contouring it. I don't want my nose to be lost on my face. Lost in plain sight. <laughs> that for real just scared me. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it scared me. <laughs> Back in with the Wayne Goss brush. I just like to make sure it is blended. Bristles Beauty EO2RL. And I am, again, just using my bronzer. I'm applying it to the outer corner and outer, like, upper crease area. Obviously, I already have it contouring this part of my nose. Now I want to add some definition to the crease. And add a little bit of color. I have a whole lot of space from here to here, so I like to add color there so it's just not like empty. 
Refer number three, again still using the bronzer. I'm applying it just right underneath my lash line, my lower lash line. And I'm going to go back in with the Wayne Goss brush and just blend out underneath. I need to add my little freckle back in. I can even see it through the concealer. <laughs> but I like to make it a little bit more pronounced. And this is the Ferocious Brow Pencil in some kind of brown. What shade are you? Light brown from the Balm. I just take it and twist right on top of my freckle. Before I add the winged liner with my eyeshadow, I first want to line my inner rim. Turn away if this bothers you. <laughs> Milk Makeup Boss Liner, the usual. For the shadow winged liner, I'm going to be using my Tiny Marvels palette with Sydney Grace. <sighs> this is going to be returning soon. Hopefully in like two weeks-ish, so be on the watch for that if you're interested. Of course, I will let you guys know, but you do not have to use my palette. You can use whatever you would like, so I'm just going to show you a few palettes that I do tend to gravitate towards when I'm doing this type of look. I love to use the Hourglass Myth palette. A lot of times I'll even take this shade right here and use it in my crease and underneath my eye, and then I'll use this shade to do the wing. This one, I don't typically use two different shades to do the wing. I will just use that last shade. I'm using two today because <laughs> uh, I like to. And then the Wayne Goss Luxury Eye Palette. I like to take this shade right here and mix it with this one. It's extra, I know, but I take these two shades, I will mix them together, do the liner first, and then use the black to do the liner, which you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is a really good palette, and then also my Too Faced Born This Way, The Natural Nudes. I love this one, and you can just, you can use so many different shades. You can do something that's a little bit more warm or a little bit more neutrally or mauve for this one. But yeah, any palette you want to use to do this, you can use. In my palette, I'm going to be using Death Moth and Spider. None of my brushes are clean. I say that as you hear me digging through a bunch of brushes, but I'm looking for one in particular. I wanted to use my Bristles Beauty PO6RF, but all of them are dirty, so I'm going to go in with my MAC 263. Two different, completely different brushes, but yeah, I just like that Bristles Beauty brush. Starting off with Death Moth, and I'm going to be looking down because this is just the easiest way for me to do this. I'm first going to get as close to my lash line as possible. And then kind of blend it upward just a little bit, softening the shade. And this is Death Moth. Um, as I go on this outer corner, I'm going to start bringing it up. Just like this. So instead of starting here and going out, starting up top. And then I will start to fill it in as well. Dragging from the bottom out. I try not to load my brush up with too much product so that I can get a more diffused look right away. And if I need to clean it up, it's easier to do. I like to make sure that this spot right here is kind of straight across, as straight as it can be. And so I just keep building and spreading this out. Again, I want it thinner on the inside. This is just creating the base shape. And then I'll be adding to it. I will sit here and spend way too much time trying to make these perfect, which is just way too hard to do on camera. Ah! Now I'm going in with Spider, and I want to add the depth and definition. I'm starting on the lower portion of the outer corner, stamping it right up against my lashes as well. And then I'm going to slowly add to the wing. 
again first just on this outer corner portion and then I will lightly drag on the bottom. Mascara that I added, Hourglass Instant Extensions Mascara. This is one of my favorites right now along with the Pat McGrath Dark Star. And then I went in with the MAC Extended Play. I put this one on my lower lash line, but then I also love to take this wand and go on the backs of my lashes because I will get just like that little bit of more length. And again, I have a video all about natural lashes, the serums I use and all of that, but these are the two that I have on right now. And uh, let's move on to highlight. Normally when I'm not trying to think about anything, I go in with the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. However, I have recently fallen in love with this beauty, Rose Gold from Dior. And so Oh, I'm gonna use this today. Sonia G Mini Cheek. I'm gonna grab this shade right down here. And I am just going to really buff this one into the skin. Oh, it's so stinking pretty. My two most used blushes right now are from Wayne Goss. This is Coral Rose, and yes, this is sold out right now, I believe, but it I'm sure it's gonna be coming back. This, however, from NARS, the Overlust, yeah, the Overlust palette is sold out and it, it was limited edition. So I am going to go in with this one. I mean, formula-wise anyway, this, this is everything. I'm not even saying that just because it's Wayne. We all know how much I adore him. The formula is just amazing. It really is amazing. And I am going to just buff this into the skin. This is the refer number five. I like to build this formula up. Just blend it into the skin as I do it. I also have been taking my blush up on my forehead recently. Just kind of spreading it around. Linda Hauberg 306. I want to take this shade of highlight in the palette and use it to spot highlight right on the very tips of my cheekbones. I want to put it on my nose. Wayne Goss's favorite place to highlight. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> and I'm going to add a little bit of this up here as well. I just want to be glowy. I always want to be glowy. I am gonna take it down a few notches though. Smooth Buffer from Sonia G, back in with the Sicily powder, and I just wanna grab a little bit of it. And I am going to buff. Makes everything just a little bit more seamless. And it makes my skin look filtered. Knock that nose highlight down just a just a smidge. For my lips, I either go straight up nude or I go really, really bold. And uh, today I am going to go for nude. I'm gonna go in with the nude lip liner. It's literally called nude. <laughs> nude lip liner from Sicily Paris. I went ahead and just completely filled in my lips with the liner. Now I'm gonna go in with Pretty Natural from Dominique Cosmetics. I know, I'm sorry, it is sold out right now, but it's gonna come back. These aren't limited edition, at least not from <laughs> not what I'm aware of. Here's the finished look. So this is it. This is everything I like to do when I just want to do a look that I know that I know I feel good in. I love the winged liner with shadow. It's just, I feel like it's dramatic. It makes the eyes pop, but it's still a little bit softer than say like a gel winged liner or a liquid liner. I love a ton of mascara and then highlight skin looking good and a nude or bold lip. Basically this face and then whichever lip I so choose for that day. And obviously you can create this look with anything that you have in your collection, your favorite foundations, your favorite bronzers, 
blushes, highlights, lip, whatever you like. These are things that everybody has and this is just how I like to achieve it. Anywho beauties, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and please go check out Kelsey Brianna Bay as well as T from the Nappy Headed Jojoba. I can guarantee that you will love them both. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.